Last night I dreamed I went on a tour through the country music hall of fame in Nashville, Tennessee. And my guide was none other than America's most beloved cowboy, Tex Ritter. First we stood outside and he said, This is the place where Big Joe Talbot threw the detergent in the fountain here at the CMA and made such a mountain of suds that it floated down 16th Avenue and engulfed Columbia Studio. <laughs> Then we went inside and he said, Here in the first section, you will see the actual boots that Ernest Tubb wore. The night he wrote that fantastic smash, I'm walking the floor over you. You'll notice that the soles are a little thin, but thin so is Ernest. He said, this is the actual fiddle bow that fiddling Chubby used on stage the night he knocked the toupee off of the little cowboy. And this is the actual toupee that the little cowboy wore. You'll notice that it's still attached to the fiddle bow. And this is the little cowboy. You'll notice he's still attached to the toupee. Oh, he showed me many wonderful things. He even showed me the pulley bone from Minnie Pearl's first fried chicken. Then he gave me an autographed picture of America's most beloved cowboy on his wonder horse, White Flash. And showed me a list of all the people that would be entered in the Country Music Hall of Fame in the next 10 or 15 years. I started to read. Jack Clement. Merv Shiner. Jim Vanow. Bonnie Guitar and her sister Fender, Cy Coben, Ben Colder, Ben Colder. Well, that's when I woke up, and I'm kind of sorry I did, because I figure that's about as close as I'm ever gonna get to the Country Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> 